Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
to the end of the earth. I will send you to Savior. I will finish my work. You have no other shepherd. You have no other Lord. Green pastures I wait. Inside was more. I will bring you back home. I'll bring you back home, oh, my children. You will no longer roam, lost and alone in the night. There is nothing on earth that could take you. Once I gather you under my wings, I will bring you all back home. So we pray for the peace, we look to the east for the sunrising sun in their fears. Every prophet and priest and king in the city will look for the one day of peace. We will mourn for the one we have pierced. But don't fear, oh my God, or oh sons of Abraham. I will wash you with water. I will offer the lamb. Though your sins were like scarlet, They'll be wider than two. I have always been with you. I will never let go. I will bring you back home. I'll bring you back home, oh my children. You will no longer own. Lost and alone in the night. There is nothing on earth that could take you away. I will gather you under my wings. I will bring you all back home. Oh, I will bring you all back home again.
So box alone, everybody. So uh, by way of announcements, um, of course, uh, Alfonso Chapman has went to the, the Olam Haba. May his memory be a blessing. What other announcements uh, do we have? I'm home for a week. JD's here. JD's here. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> um, Justina. Talked to her yesterday. Yeah. And <laughs> Justina um, would like uh, prayers for finding a job. Okay. If you would like to recommend her so, um, to write a reference if she, if they ask her. Um, send yeah. your contact information to Ruth on Facebook or on Messenger. What kind of job is she looking for? I don't know, but I, <clears throat> I think all those kids are good at um, basic computer skills, data and input, stuff like that. I don't know if she's looking for something more out in the public like McDonald's, like her sister, but, <clears throat> but uh, okay. they're pretty math literate. Really? Okay. Okay. Um, oh, my sister had a third chemo round. Her blood was good enough to do it, so she was excited and happy, and your, she your got sister? to take Mm -hmm. huh? My Aaron, sister Erin, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and they they got toward their Australian Shepherd certified to do um, therapy Very rounds good. with them in <laughs> the cancer center. Oh, nice. baby. And so he's now a certified therapy dog too. For, oh, cool. Yeah, he went too. <clears throat> it was amazing. It gave him like a real open door to talking to other people there that were receiving treatment. And, it just lifted the spirits of everyone that was in the center. I bet. So I bet so. They were excited. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah. Will does continue, is continuing to make steps forward. You know, even if it's just microscopic, it's still forward. He has not had any backward movement. It's been, uh, it's been really great. He's doing really well. Awesome. Yep. Continue to yeah. Yeah, awesome. 
We are uh, in Torah portion Vayechel today, and he assembled. It's also Shabbat Shekelim, so there's a special um, Moftir reading for that. Um, there is a versification difference in our readings in 2 Kings. Um, 11.21 equals 12.1. Like, for example, the complete Jewish Bible is 12.1. Um, okay, so we'll, we, I have blown the shofar. We'll start <coughs> where, where it reads when the ark moved forward. When the ark moved forward, Moshe said, Arise, Adonai, and your enemies be scattered, but those who hate you flee before you. And Matovu, we sing the Hebrew part twice. Matovu, O Haleka Yahakov, Mishkanoteka Israel. Matovu, O Haleka Yahakov, Mishkanoteka Israel. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, or dwelling places, O Israel. In the Baku, anytime it says Chazan, or worship leader, please feel free to join in if you'd like. Marku et Adonai Hamevorak, Baruch Adonai Hamevorak, Leolam Bayed. Bless Adonai, who's be praised. Bless be Adonai, who's praised for all eternity. Blessing of Mashiach. Baruch Adonai, Adonai, Elohimu Melakalam, Asher Atalani, Wetrek HaYeshua, Yemashiach Yeshua Amen. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who has given us way of salvation, Messiah Yeshua. Amen. And Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, y'all. Groovy. How are you? I'm still here. Groovy. Groovy. I got that one. That's from back in the day. I got one. My shirt. My shirt's speaking. This is the shirt. <laughs> We assemble on Shabbat in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. There are six days you may work, but the seventh day is a Shabbat of rest, a day of sacred assembly. Not to do any work, or if you live, it is a Shabbat to Adonai. And the foreigners who join themselves to Adonai to serve him, to love the name of Adonai, and to be his workers, all who keep Shabbat and do not profane and hold fast to my covenant, I'll bring them to my holy mountain and make them draw from my Beit Tefillah. The burnt offerings and sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. My house will be called. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been raised, and he entered the synagogue the day of the Shabbat, as he was accustomed. For from the earliest times, Moshe has said, in the city of those who proclaim him, was words being read in the synagogue every Shabbat.
Of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, observe the Sabbath throughout the generations of an everlasting covenant. It's a sign between me and the Jews of Israel forever. For in six days, all and I made heaven and earth. On seven days, cease from his work and rest. We'll wait for a moment for Earl to get back. Please stand with me for the Shema. <laughs> in the words Shema Israel. Shema Israel Adonai Elohim. Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto Le'olam Ha'e Yeshua Hoshiach Hu Adonai Hero Israel, Adonai is Elohim, Adonai is one. Bless the name of his glorious kingdom for all eternity. Yeshua the Messiah, he is Adonai. Amen. The continuation of the Shema begins with Ve'ahavta. If you, if you re, uh, recite in an undertone, yet still loud enough for you and Adonai to hear. Ve'ahavta Adonai Eloheka b'kol levavka v'kol nafshecha v'kol miyadecha. And you shall love Adonai, your Elohim, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Let these matters that I command you today be upon your heart. Teach them diligently to your children and speak of them while you sit in your home, while you walk on the way, when you retire and when you arise. Bind them as a sign upon your arm and let the friendless between your eyes and write them on the doorpost of your house and upon your gates. So if you listen carefully to my mitzvot, which I'm giving you today, to love Adonai, your Elohim, and serve him with all your heart and all your being, then says Adonai, I'll give your land its rain at the right seasons, including the early fall rains and the late spring rains. You can gather in your wheat, new wine, olive oil. And I'll give your fields, grass, your livestock with the results. You'll eat and be satisfied. But be careful not to let yourselves be seduced so that you turn aside, serving other gods and worshiping them. If you do, the anger of Adonai will blaze up against you. He will shut up the sky, so be no rain. Ground not you this produce, and you'll quickly pass away from a good land, Adonai, is giving you. Therefore, you are store up these words of mine in your heart and in all your being. Tie them on your hand as a sign. Bind them on your forehead as a headband. Teach them carefully to your children, talking about them when you sit at home, when you're traveling on the road, when you lie down and when you get up. And write them on the door frames of your house and on your gate so that you and your children will live long on the land. Adonai swore to your ancestors that he would give them for as long as there is sky above the earth. Adonai said to Moshe, Speak the children of Israel, instructing them to make through all the generation tzitzit on the corners of their garments and to put with the tzitzit on each corner 
a blue thread. It is to be a ZC for you to look at, and thereby remember all of Adonai's misvot and obey them, so you won't go around wherever your own heart and eyes lead you to prostitute yourselves. To help you remember and obey all my mitzvot and be set apart for your Elohim. I am Adonai, your Elohim. We brought you out of the land of Egypt. Now to be your Elohim, I am Adonai, your Elohim. Altogether, Amet, true. Adonai, Elohim, Amet. Adonai, your Elohim, is true. Amen. <clears throat> Love your neighbor. They have to like a kamoka and she'll love your neighbor as yourself. Masala, good news. Just as Moshe lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the son of man be lifted up. So everyone who trusts in him may have eternal life. For Elohim so loved the world, he gave his only and unique son. So everyone who trusts in him may have eternal life. For Elohim did not send the son into the world to judge the world, rather says that through him, world might be saved. Blessed are you, Abba, who sent Yeshua the Messiah, who will be saved through him. Uh, remain, and you may be seated.
Please stand with me for the Avinu. Taking from the Hebrew text, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 9 through 13, beginning with Avinu, Shabbat Shemayim. Avinu, Shabbat Shemayim, Yikadesh Shemcha. Our Father who is in heaven, may your name be set apart. Vayit Barech Malchutka, and may your kingdom be blessed. Chesonka, Yeye, Asui, Bar Shemayim, Uharetz. Your will be done in heaven and on earth. That detain Lachmenu Timadit and give us our continual bread. Umakolanu Hatotenu Asher Anachnu Mogulim Lakotim Lanu. And forgive us the debt of our sins as we forgive the debt of those who sin against us. They all Tavinu Lide Nisayon and do not bring to the hands of a test. Veshumrenu Makolra protect us from all evil. Kilacha, Hulucha, Hagavura, Rekava, Rekuple Olam, Ulame, Olame, Amen. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. from Proverbs 31, beginning verse 10. Who can find a capable wife? Her value is far beyond that of pearls. Her husband trusts her from his heart, and she will prove a great asset to him. She works to bring him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She procures a supply of wool and flax and works with willing hands. She is like those merchant vessels bring her food from far away. It's still dark when she rises to give food to her household and or to the young women serving her. She considers a field and buys it, and from her earnings she plants a vineyard. She gathers her strength around her and throws herself into her work. She sees that her business affairs go well and lamp stays lit at night. She puts her hands to the staff with the flax, her fingers hold the spinning rod. She reaches out to embrace the poor and opens her arms to the needy. For this snow, she has no fear for her household, so all of them are doubly clothed. She makes her own quilts. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is known at the city gates when he sits with the leaders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them. She supplies the merchants with sashes. Clothed with strength and dignity, she will laugh the days to come. When she opens her mouth, she speaks wisely. On her tongue is loving instruction. She watches how things go in her house, not eating the bread of idleness. Her children rise, make her happy, her husband too, as he praises her. Many women had done wonderful things, but you surpassed them all. Charm can lie, beauty can vanish, the woman who fears on a knife should be praised. Give her share in what she produces, let her work speak her praises at the city gates. Let's pray. Uh, we thank you for the blessing of our wives. We ask you to put your very best blessing upon them. We ask this in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. So, if a blessing over sons, would you lead that one, Jamie? Well, Father, we are truly thankful for the gift of our sons. We thank you for the strength that they bring to our families. Father, we make we ask that you make them strong in you, like Ephraim and Manasseh. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah. Amen. 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 Uh, Earl, do you mind leading with a blessing over daughters? You know, because you got one here. That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you. For the blessings that you have blessed us with, all six girls. And I just pray, Lord, you bless Connie richly and deeply. And I thank you so much for the the, the, the the women of the household, Lord, and the young women that we have in our household. May you make them like Leah, Rebecca, Rachel. In Yeshua's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, Dancing, so we'll manage through these. Earl. 
can dance. Bo no, can't dance. Can dance. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever seen this one, um, Abby? The, I don't think I have. It, I'm sorry? I don't think I have. Pass the knees, four. Huh? Pass the knees, four. Well, I'm saying we can still watch the dance. <laughs> Thank you. 
Starburst. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Are you sure that was a Starburst? I didn't see the Starburst fly. Well, they cut it off. That's oh. a good song. Table ground. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
now move into the Prairie Quest uh, part of our Shabbat service. If you'd like to read along with me, you're welcome to, from Psalm chapter 20, beginning at verse 1. May Adonai answer you in the day of trouble. For the name of the Elohim of Yaakov set you up on high, send you help from the sanctuary, grant you support from Zion. Remember all your mincha offerings, accept your Ola offerings, Selah. May he grant you your heart's desire, fulfill all your plans. We will triumph in your salvation. In the name of our Elohim, we'll set up our banners. May Adonai grant all your requests. Now I know that Adonai saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of Adonai, our Elohim. They are bowed down and fall, but we rise up and stand upright. Save Adonai, let the king answer us the day we call. Mishaborach Avotenu Vimotenu, Avraham Basara, Yitzak Varevka, Yaakov Kavale Huyvarek et Haholim, may the one who was the source of healing for our ancestors, Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebecca, Jacob, Rachel, and Leah, and blessings of healings upon Will, Kimbrell, Cece's sister Aaron, Don Thomas, Connie's sister Mitzi, Mr. Cusimano, Buck Hatton, Stella Summerlot, Sarah Anderson, Wes and Connie Swarovski, Lucia's friend Isaiah, Rick Crouch's dad, Ben Cleveland, Wayne Cleveland, Debbie Julian, Tom Christian, Paul Harrell, Yvette's mom, and Doug's mother-in-law. If you are praying for others for healing, please say the names aloud now. A healing of body and a healing of spirit with Chifua Shlema, complete healing. Baruch Ata Adonai Hufecha Holim, blessed are you, Adonai, who heals the sick. Amen. Ab, we have other praises and requests to bring to your throne. Ab, we first praise you that uh, Rebecca now has affordable housing. We ask you in, in all uh, humility to bring the hostages home, release the hostages held by Hamas, and to keep the IDF soldiers safe. Uh, we ask you for an earlier oncology appointment date for Tom. Uh, we ask you for guidance and sustainment for Tom and Greta. Uh, we ask you for a new job for Ben and a job for Justina. We ask you to continue progress in Will's healing. We praise you that's going on now. Uh, but last night, Gio went on pod level lockdown. We ask you to restore the service to Gio as well as uh, Oklahoma State Reformatory and Grant. Uh, we ask you for strength and wisdom for Tyrell and Nathan, recently released from prison. We ask you for Teshuva protection and favor for Elijah. We ask you for mercy for the people of Ukraine and for lasting peace in the region. Uh, we ask for strength and comfort for Lucia, favor for Stephanie's Innocence Project case, favor for Travis Greer's post-prison ministry. Uh, we thank you for the, the recent rains that you've brought to the area. Even though we know we don't deserve it, we thank you for the rain. We ask you to continue to send the rain in the appropriate amounts. Again, we know that we do not deserve the rain. All uh, before the United States of America, we ask that you bring wisdom to our leaders. You would bring in... Um, wise uh, men and women to advise them on the scripture, uh, bring them in line, an American policy line with what the scriptures say. Uh, we ask that you would never let the United States of America and Israel become at odds or enemies with each other. And for the people of Israel and for the land, Yishlushalom, Yishlayim, we, we pray for, we inquire about the peace of Jerusalem. Uh, we ask you to be protecting Israel for the myriad of enemies that wish to do Israel harm and, and would do it if they could. Uh, we thank you for, uh, for, for keeping Israel safe. Uh, we also ask you to open the hearts and, uh, and eyes of the people that Yeshua, the truth that Yeshua of Nazareth is the promised Messiah of Israel. If you join me for Abba, we praise you. Abba, we praise you and thank you for hearing and for answering our prayers. Amen. If you've lost a loved one over the last year or so, I invite you to stand with me for Mourner's Cottage.
All we ask you for comfort with the families of those who have lost loved ones. Trevor Henson, Robert Lee Nixon, Jonathan Sattel, Reed Wood, Raymond Mills, David Ray, Jacqueline Utman, Wayne Monty, Cynthia Alexander, Elaine Mitchell, Alfonso Chapman, victims of the Maui fire and victims of Hamas. If I miss a name up, up there that, uh, that uh, of your loved one, please say the name aloud now. Yikadal and Yikadash Shemei Rabbah. Amen. His great name are exalted and sanctified. Amen. Amen. In the world he created as he willed, may he give reign to his kingship in your lifetimes and in your days and the lifetimes of the entire family of Israel swiftly and soon. Amen. 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 May his great Amen. name be blessed forever Amen. and ever. May his great name be blessed forever and ever. Blessed, praised, glorified, exalted, extolled, mighty, upraised, and lauded with the name of the Holy One. Blessed is he. Blessed is he. Beyond the blessing and song, praise and consolation that uttered in the world, Amen. may there be abundant peace from heaven and life upon us and upon all Israel. Amen. Amen. He who makes peace in his heights, may he make peace upon us and upon all Israel. Amen. Amen. Those standing may be seated. All right. So once again, we are reading Torah portion of Vayachel, anti-assembled. Uh, oftentimes, this is a double portion, but this year it is not. And we'll be <clears throat> picking up in Shemot 35 1 after the break. Here are the uh, Aliyot for, uh, for, the, uh, for the reading, if you will. Um, I can start off with the Kohen portion. Uh, Jim, would you mind reading uh, the, let's see, Levite portion? Sure. Um, Jade, would you mind reading the third alia? Absolutely. Uh, Earl, would you mind reading the fourth alia? Got it. Uh, Allie? Not Allie. It's not, you're not Allie. You're not the wrong, wrong daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Addie, would you mind reading the fifth alia? Shemot 3620 to 3716. 3620 to 3716. And Cece, do I bring the sixth Alia? And so I will uh, I will close the seventh Alia and the Maftir Shekalim. And when we get to the, I'll do the Hoth Torah, and we get to the Ketsi Mitzrim, we'll ask uh, JD to read that. We'll yeah, that. absolutely. All right. So we are preparing for our service of re our reading, the uh, the most the best part of the service. So we'll take a, a short break, plus or minus six minutes and 13 seconds. <laughs> Ready, set. Ready, break. Break. Six. I'm laying it 
And these are the Aliot. And if you join me for the blessing before I read the Torah portion, again, with both my eyes. Open my eyes, so I will see wonders from your Torah. I'm a gear on the earth. Hide not your mitzvot from me. The blessing. Ahuch ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Shabbat Karbanu Makol Ha'amim V'Natan Lanu Et Torah To. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who has chosen us from all peoples. Give us His Torah. Ahuch ata Adonai Notein HaTorah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. Amen. All right, so here is our first verse. And the first word of the, uh, the, the verse is where we get the name of our uh, portion from, Vayechel. So if I can read it with me, where it says Y-H-W-H on the screen, I'll be saying Yud Hey Vav Hey. We give Vayechel. Vayechel Moshe et Kal Adat Bnei Yisrael Vayomer Elohim Ela Hadevarim Asher Tziva Yudhe Vavhe Laasot Otam. Or in English, one of these three. I'll read the top one. And Moshe assembled the whole community of the people of Israel and said to them, "These are the things which Adonai has ordered you to do." King then with verse. In, oops, start up there. In six days, work is to be done. But the seventh day is to be a holy day for you, a Shabbat of complete rest in honor of Adonai. Whoever does any work on it is to be put to death. 
you are not to kindle a fire in any of your homes or dwelling places on Shabbat. Moshe said to the whole community of people of Israel, here is what Adonai has ordered. Take up a collection for Adonai from among yourselves. Anyone whose heart makes him willing to bring the offering for Adonai, gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, fine linen, goat's hair, tanned ram skins, and fine leather, acacia wood, oil for the light, spices for the anointing oil, and for the fragrant incense, onyx stones and stones to be set for the ritual vest and breastplate. Then let all the craftsmen among you come and make up everything Adonai has ordered. The tabernacle with its tent, covering, fasteners, planks, crossbars, posts, and sockets. The ark with its poles, ark cover, and the curtain to screen it. The table with its poles, all its utensils, and the showbread. The menorah for the light with its utensils and lamps. And the oil for the, and the, oil for the light. The incense altar with its poles, the anointing oil, the fragrant incense, the screen for the entranceway and the entrance to the tabernacle, the altar for burnt offering with its poles and all its utensils, the basin with its base, the tapestries for the courtyard with their posts and sockets, the screen for the gateway of the courtyard, the tent pegs for the tabernacle, the tent pegs for the courtyard with their ropes, the garments for officiating, for serving in the holy place, and the holy garments for Aharon and Cohen, and the garments for his son, so they may so they can serve in the office of Cohen. Then the whole community of the people of Israel withdrew from Moshe's presence. Exodus 35, 25. 21. Okay. The whole community of Israelites then withdrew from Moses' presence, and all those who whose heart stirred them and all those whose spirit prompted them brought a contribution for Yahweh for the work on the tent of meeting, for its general service and for the sacred vestments. Men and women, they came, all those who, whose heart prompted them, bringing brooches, rings, bracelets, necklaces, golden objects of every kind, all those who had bowed gold to Yahovah, while all those who happened to own violet purple, red purple, and crimson materials, finely woven linen, goat's hair, ram's skins, dyed red, other fine leather brought that. All those offering a contribution of silver and bronze brought their contribution for Yahweh and all who happened to own acacia wood Suitable for any of the work to be done brought that. All the skilled women set their hands to spinning and brought what they had spun, violet, purple, red, purple, or crimson material, and fine linen. While all those women whose hearts stirred them by virtue of their skill spun goat's hair. The leaders brought cornelians and other stones to be set in the ephod and breastplate and the spices and oil for the light, for the anointing oil and for the fragrant incense. <clears throat> All those Israelites, men and women, whose hearts prompted them to contribute to the entire work that Yahweh had ordered through Moses to be done, brought a contribution to Yahweh. <clears throat> Moses said to the people of Israel, See, Adonai has singled out Bezalel, son of Uri, the son of Hur, the tribe of Yehuda. He has filled him with the spirit of Elohim, with wisdom, understanding, knowledge concerning every cart and every kind of artisanry. He is a master of designing gold, silver, bronze, cutting precious stones to be set, wood carving, and every other craft. Adonai has also given him Holiab, the son of Achishmach, from the tribe of Dan, the ability to teach others. He has filled them with the skill needed for every kind of work. Whether done by an artisan, a designer, an embroiderer using blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and fine linen, or a weaver, they have the skill of every kind of work and design. That's Alel and Aholiab, along with all the craftsmen whom Adonai has endowed with the wisdom and skill necessary to 
carry out all the work needed for the sanctuary are to do exactly according to everything Adonai has ordered. Moshe summoned Betzalel, Holyab, and every craftsman to whom Adonai had given wisdom, everyone whose heart stirred him to come and take part in the work. They received from Moshe all the offering from which the people of Israel had brought for the work of building the sanctuary. But still they kept bringing voluntary offerings every morning until all the craftsmen doing the work for the sanctuary left the work they were involved in to tell Moshe, the people are bringing far more than is needed to do the work for Adonai's order done. So Moshe gave an order which was proclaimed throughout the camp. Neither men nor women are to make any further efforts for the sanctuary offering. In this way, the people were restrained from making additional contributions. For what they had already, excuse me, for what they had already was not only sufficient for doing all the work, but too much. Then all the gifted artisans among them who worked on the tabernacle made tent, tent curtains woven of fine linen, blue, <clears throat> purple, and scarlet thread. With artistic designs of the cherubim, they made them. The length of each curtain was 28 cubits, and the width of each curtain, 4 cubits. The curtains were all the same size. And he coupled five curtains to one another, and the other five curtains he coupled to one another. He made loops of blue yarn on the edge of the curtains and the sleeveage of one set. Likewise, he did on the outer edge of the other curtain of the second set. Fifty loops he made, one on each curtain, and fifty loops he made on the edge of the curtain. On the end of the second set, the loops held <clears throat> one curtain to another. And he made fifty clasps of gold and coupled the curtains to one another with the clasps that it might be one tabernacle. He made curtains of goat's hair for the tent over the tabernacle. He made 11 curtains. The length of each curtain was 30 cubits, and the width of each curtain was 4 cubits. The 11 curtains were the same size. He coupled five curtains by themselves and six curtains by themselves. He made 50 loops on the edge of the curtain, that is the outermost in one set. 50 loops he made on the edge of the curtain of the second set. He also made 50 bronze clasps to couple the tent together that it might be one. Then he made a covering for the tent of ram skins, dyed red and a covering of badger skins above that. He made boards of acacia wood standing upright. The length of each board was ten cubits, and the width of each board was a cubit and a half. Each board had two tenons for binding one to another. Thus, he made all for the made for all the boards of the tabernacle. And he made boards for the tabernacle, twenty boards for the south side, forty sockets of silver he made to go under the twenty boards, two sockets under each of the boards for its two tenons. And for the other side of the tabernacle, the north side, he made 20 boards, and 40 so there are 40 sockets of silver, two sockets under each of the boards. For the west side of the tabernacle, he made six boards. He also made two boards for the two back corners of the tabernacle, and they were coupled at the bottom and coupled together at the top by one length. Thus he made both of them for the two corners. So there were eight boards and their sockets, 16 sockets of silver, two sockets under each of the boards, and he made the bars of acacia wood, five for the boards on the one side of the tabernacle, five bars for the boards on the other side of the tabernacle, and five bar bars for the boards of the tabernacle on the far side westward. And he made the middle bar to pass through the boards from one end to the other. He overlaid the boards with gold, made their rings of gold to be holders for the bars, and overlaid the bars with gold. And he made a veil of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen. It was worked with an artistic design of cherubim. He made four, four pillars of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold, with their hooks of gold, and he cast four sockets of silver for them. He also made a screen for the tabernacle door of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen made by a weaver, and his five pillars with their hooks, and he overlaid their capitals and their rings with gold, but their five sockets for a bronze. 
and bezel nail make the arc of acacia wood two and a half cubits with its length, a cubit and a half its width, and a cubit and a half its height. He overlaid it with pure gold inside and outside, and made a molding of gold all around it. And he cast forth four rings of gold to be set in its four corners, two rings on one side, and two rings on the other side of it. He made poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold. And he put the poles into the rings of the sides of the ark to bear the ark. He also made the mercy seat of pure gold, two and a half cubits with its width length, and a cubit and a half its width. He made two cherubim of beaten gold. He made them of one piece at the two ends of the mercy seat. One cherub at one end on this side, and the other cherub at the other end on that side. He made the cherubim of the two ends of one piece with the mercy seat. The cherubim spread out their wings above and covered the mercy seat with their wings. They faced one another. The bases of the cherubim were toward the mercy seat. He made the table of acacia wood, two cubits was its length, a cubit its width, and a cubit and a half its height. And he overlaid it with pure gold and made a molding of gold all around it. Also, he made a frame of a handbreadth all around it and made a molding of gold for the frame all around it. And he cast forth four rings of gold and put the rings on the four corners that were at its four legs. The rings were close to the frame as holders for the poles to bear the table. And he made the poles of acacia wood to bear the table and overlaid them with gold. He made a pure gold the utensils which were on the table, its dishes, its cups, its bowls, and its pitchers for pouring. Then he made the menorah of pure gold of hammered work, even its base, its stems, its cups, its bulbs, its flowers were of one piece. There were six branches going out of the sides, three on one of the sides, and three branches out on the other. Three cups were made like almond blossoms and were on one branch, a bowl within a flower, and three cups were made like almond <coughs> blossoms were in the next branch, another bowl within a flower. It was just so for the six branches going out of the menorah, and within the menorah were four cups made like all the almond blossoms and bowls and flowers, with a bowl under two branches of one piece, and a bowl under two branches of another piece, and a bowl under two branches of the third piece, for six branches extending out of it. Their bowls and their branches were one piece with it, an entire hammered work of gold, of pure gold. He <clears throat> he also made seven lamps, along with tongs and censers of pure gold. He made them from a talent of pure gold, along with all the pieces. He made the altar of incense from acacia wood, a cubit long, a cubit wide, square, and two cubits high. The horns were one piece with it. He overlaid it with pure gold on the top and on the sides all around and over its horns. And he made a small crown of gold for it around all around. And he, <clears throat> and he made two golden rings for it underneath the crown on the two sides as holders for the poles in order to carry it. He made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with gold. And then he made the holy anointing oil and the pure incense of sweet spices, the blend of a perfume. <laughs> He made the altar for burnt offerings of acacia wood, seven and a half feet long and seven and a half feet wide. It was square and four and a half feet high. He made horns for it on its four corners. The horns were of one piece with it, and he overlaid it with bronze. He made all the utensils for the altar, its pots, shovels, basins, meat hooks, and fire pans. All its utensils he made of bronze. <coughs> He made for the altar a grate of bronze netting under its rim, reaching halfway up the altar. He cast four rings for the four ends of the bronze grate to hold the poles. He made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with bronze. He put the <coughs> carrying poles into the rings on the sides of the altar. He made it of planks and hollow inside. He made the basin of bronze with its base of bronze and from the mirrors of the women serving at the entrance to the tent of meeting. He made the courtyard on the south side, facing southward. The tapestries for the courtyard were made of finely woven linen, 150 feet long, supported on 20 posts 
<coughs> and 20 bronze sockets. The hooks on the posts and the attached rings for hanging were of silver. On the north side, they were 150 feet long, hung on 20 posts and 20 bronze sockets, with the hooks on the posts and their rings of silver. On the west side were tapestries 75 feet long, hung on 10 posts and 10 sockets, with the hooks on the posts and their rings of silver. On the east side were tapestries 75 feet long. The tapestries for the one side of the gateway were 22 and a half feet long, hung on three posts and three sockets. Likewise, for the other side, on either side of the gate were tapestries 22 and a half feet long on three posts and three sockets. All the tapestries from the courtyard all the way around were finely woven linen. The sockets for the posts were of bronze. The hooks on the posts and their rings were of silver. The capitals of the posts were overlaid with silver, and all the posts of the courtyard were banded with silver. The screen for the gateway to the courtyard was the work of a weaver in colors of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and finely woven linen. Its length was 30 feet and its height seven and a half feet <clears throat> all the way around, like the tapestries of the courtyard. It had four posts and four bronze sockets with silver hooks, capitals overlaid with silver, and silver fasteners. The tent peg for the tabernacle and for the courtyard around it were of bronze. Thus ends Torah reading, except for the Moftir, where I'm Moftir Shekelim, which Go, if you turn back to chapter 30, chapter 30, verses 11 through 16. So you might recognize those the first readings from last week's reading. Yeah. Adam and I said to Moshe, when you take a census of the people of Israel and register them, each with it, each upon registration, is to pay a ransom for his life to Adonai to avoid any breakout of plague among them during the time of the census. Everyone subject to the census is to pay as an offering to Adonai half a shekel, one fifth of an ounce of silver, by the standard of the sanctuary shekel. A shekel equals twenty gerahs. Everyone over twenty years old, years of age rather, who is subject to the census is to give this offering to Adonai. The rich not to give more to, or the poor less than the half shekel when giving Adonai's offering to atone for your lives. You are to take the atonement money from the people of Israel and use it for the service in the tent of meeting so that it will be a reminder of the people of Israel before Adonai to atone for your lives. Thus ends Maftir Shechelim. If you join for the blessing after the reading. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Shoratamani Kratamet Luchie Olam Nata Betokeinu. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who give us the Torah of Truth, upon everlasting life in our midst. Baruch Atah Adonai Nafhein Hatva. Blessed are you, Adonai, Giver of the Torah. Amen. So our Haftor reading is from 2 Kings. <clears throat> and if you're reading from Complete Jewish Bible, it starts at 12, verse 1. If you're reading from King James or New King James, Christ 11, 21. For the blessing. Oh, Ata Adonai, O Hinu Melech Olam, Shabakar, and Demim, Tobim, Bakatsa, Demhem, Hagamarim, Amet. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who has chosen good prophets and pleased with the words they spoke in truth. Oh, Ata Adonai, Havakir, Bator, of Moshe, Abdo, Israel, Amo, and Nevi'e, Amet, and us today. Blessed are you, Adonai, who chose Torah, Moshe of certain Israel's people, and prophets of the truth and righteousness.
again. Hoftor, <coughs> beginning with either 12.1 or 11.21. Yehoash <coughs> was seven years old when he began his reign. It was in the seventh year of Yehu that Yehoash began to rule, and he ruled 40 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Siva from Be'er Sheba. Yoash did what was right from Avnai's perspective throughout the lifetime of Yehoyada, the Kohen, who instructed him. Nevertheless, the high places were not taken away. People still sacrificed and presented offerings on the high places. Yehoash said to the Kohenim, All the funds for sacred purposes which are brought to the house of Adonai, the half shekel tax, the taxes on persons in a man's household, and all the offerings anyone voluntarily brings to the house of Adonai, the Kohenim are to receive from whoever personally makes contributions to them, and they are to be and they are to use these funds to repair the damaged parts of the house, whatever damage is found. Twenty-three years into the reign of King Yehoash, the Kohenim had not yet repaired the damaged pieces in the places in the house. So King Yehoash summoned Yehoiada the Kohen and the other Kohenim and said to them, "Why aren't you repairing the damaged places in the house?" Therefore, you are no longer to take money for those from those who contributed it personally to you. You must hand it over to be used for repairing the damage in the house. The Kohenim agreed not to receive money from the people, and they would no longer be responsible for repairing the damage to the house. Then Yehoyad the Kohen took a chest, drilled a hole in its lid, and set it by the altar on the right as one enters the house of Adonai, and the Kohenim in charge of the entry po- entry put it put in it all the money brought to the house into the house of Adonai. When they saw that there was a large amount of money in the chest, the king's secretary and the Kohen Hagadol would come up, count the money found in the house of Adonai, and put it in bags. Then they would give the weighted the weighed out money to those supervising the work in the house of Adonai, who would use it to pay the carpenters and construction workers doing the work in the house of Adonai. On masons, stone workers, timber, work stone, and everything else needed for repairing the damaged places in the house of Adonai. But none of the money brought into the house of Adonai was used to make silver cups, snuffers, bowls, trumpets, or other articles of gold or silver for the house of Adonai, because they gave the money to those doing the work, thus restricting its use to repairing the damage in the house of Adonai. Moreover, they did not require an accounting from supervisors given the money to pay the workers because they dealt honestly. Thus ends our reading. So the blessing uh, is, is on the screen. We'll be reading from Matthew chapter 17, beginning at verse 22. And the blessing will hand over to J.D. to read that section, Matthew 17. <coughs> 22 to 27. Don't forget the blessing. Baruch Atah Adonai Elohimu Melech Haolam Asher Atah Lanu Ha'amim. Blessed are you, Adonai, our Elohim, King of the Universe, who given us the land of salvation in the sign of Yeshua, and books of Nazareth writing to all the peoples. <coughs> Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of salvation, Yeshua, Messiah. Amen. As they were going about together in the Galil, Yeshua said to them, The Son of Man is about to be betrayed into the hands of the people, who will put him to death, and on the third day he will be raised. And they were filled with sadness. When they came to Kafarnachum, the collectors of the half shekel came to Kepha and said, doesn't your rabbi pay the temple tax? Of course he does, said Kepha. When he arrived home, Yeshua spoke first. Shimon, what is your opinion? The kings of the earth, from whom do they collect duties and taxes? From their sons or from others? From others, he answered. Then Yeshua said, The sons are exempt, but to avoid offending them, go to the lake, throw out a line, Take the first fish you catch, open its mouth, and you will find a shekel. Take it and give it to them for me and for you. Amen. So now it is, of course, the time of waiting for the fun challenge. <laughs> Question.
Question number one. What is the title of this week's Torah portion? How would you translate it into English? Earl? Yeah. Do you know the answer to the question? You had your finger I up. I do, because I asked Addie earlier today. We said, <laughs> she told you. <laughs> well, I asked her what was the Torah portion today. Yeah. She said, Which means yeah. And you gather it and you assemble. Good job. Good job, Earl. No, not really. Good job, Ed. <laughs> on the on the screen, you might recognize in the Hebrew Sexist the in the, the third, fourth, and fifth letters is would spell kahal. So assembly, congregation. Any congregation? Yeah, my daughter in the outcome. Sorry. Have a, a moment, senior moment. Very I'm familiar with those. I don't want to be alone anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. In the in the phrase Andy assembled, who is the he that called for the assembly? Please excuse the Hebrew. Pun, who is he? Because this you know, it's, who is he, he is she, dogs fish. Yeah. yeah. So who is it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's Moshe, right? Moshe Avin. That's what you said, right? Moshe? I thought you said. Moshe. Okay. Yeah. Question number three. According to the traditional count, there is one mitzvah of the 613 for this portion. Fill in the blank with the phrase from that one mitzvah. You shall not blank any of your dwelling places on the Sabbath day. Not kindle fire. Kindle there is from the word tava'u, which is uh, in the peel since uh, intensification or causative form. Several other words are used for kindle in the in the Tanakh, but ba'ar is also used for kindle in Jeremiah seven eighteen. Question number four. What is Hebrew word for faithfully in this passage from the Haf Torah? Now, in the this is from New American Standard, but when I read that uh, in the Pleiades Bible, it, it was it was it was translated as honestly. So, moreover, they did not require an accounting from the men unto whose hand they gave the money to pay to those who died for, for the work, for they dealt faithfully. Is how the New American Standard reads the Pleiades Bible read honestly. So what's the word we're looking for there? Hmm. Very close. Be -emuna. Be -emuna. Be -emuna. Be -emuna. They dealt with faithfulness, I guess you could say. Question number five. Fill in the blank with the phrase. When they came to Kafarnachum, the collectors of the half shell came to Kef and said, Doesn't blank pay the temple tax? I was going to say fish, but it's not. Doesn't your master and you, or you and your master, Isn't your rabbi, your rabbi, your rabbi, yeah. your rabbi huh? From Shem Tov there, it's Rabbi Chem or your rabbi. Question number six. Okay, so this is a not for this portion, but something you should probably know. Therefore, I judge not to trouble those from among the Gentiles who are turning to God, but to write to them to abstain from the contamination of idols, <coughs> from sexual immorality, and from the way of strangled, and from blood. So based on this passage, which statement is accurate? And have, uh, most get this wrong. A, blood sausage is now kosher, or B, the commands in, in Acts 15.20 come from the scroll of Vaikra. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with B. B is correct. Good I job. Can't quite see it. The light is shining on you. So. Oh, you know, but you know it's not A. Right? Right? <laughs> well, A was definitely wrong. And since there was only A and B, I, process elimination. I had a Good job. Chance of getting it right. Good job. Uh, <laughs> question well, number seven. Question number seven. Name the holiday social with waving these. Come on, Eddie. Shabu, oh, is correct. Good job. 
Question number eight. Which of these looks most like a new moon? That is so difficult. Is it? <laughs> what about the werewolf? That's what I was thinking, D, you know? That is a new one. <laughs> it is A. That is correct. A. A. B is Wayne. B is Wayne. 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 Which means get, getting. Hey, that moon's getting old. <laughs> like yeah. <that>. Question <laughs> number nine. What is the name of this letter? Yeah. Mim Sophie is correct. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Question number 10. Another simple one here. How would you pronounce and translate this phrase? Shavuoto. Shavuoto. Yeah. Good job. Shavuoto. Evidently. So our bonus question today doesn't have any uh, any pictures of tanks or rifles in it. Oh, man. It's an old Westian question. Okay. okay. Famous old Westian edition. This is the earliest photograph known of 1858 of a famous old Westian taken before he had the alias by which he is best known. In July 1865, he killed the gambler Davis Tut in the first Wild West duel at a range of 75 yards over a dispute about a pocket watch. What is his given name? Hmm. I saw it this week. <laughs> Cody? Wild Bill. Oh, Wild Bill. What's Sorry. his given name? That oh. is not. That is his. That is the AKA. William. I thought Wild Bill Cody, right? Hickok. It's Hickok. Oh, that's correct. Yeah, Hickok. It is, that's not his. First but Wild Bill Hickok is his not. alias, so to speak. Yeah. What's his given name? What was he oh. born with? Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, it's not William. Does it have Hickok in it? Well, Hick, yeah, Hick is, Hickok is his last name. Okay. But Wild Bill. Is not. William not is not Bill his first name. Georgie? No. <laughs> All right. Nobody knows. It is James Butler Hickok. He signed his name as Jim in an 1858 letter to his mom. You know, I, I, you know, I, he changed his name, Jim. Believe it or not. So Wild Bill. Now you're singing. What? I was just saying, Hollywood put out a picture, okay? And James Butler was his name in the picture. They called him Wild Bill. And it starred uh, Charlton Heston. And he was not Wild Bill. He was somebody else. <laughs> Moses. This <laughs> Moses. Yeah. Right Moses and Wild Bill go to the movies. <laughs> All right, well, that's a good one. That was a fun challenge. We got telling Thanks. Yeah. All right. Time for some foods. So let's uh, do the blessing. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who creates all things through his word. Amen. Oh, 